This video is to introduce my uh, new addition to my range of Great Western Railway standard gauge uh, wagons and this is the McCaw B. As you can see it's labelled very conveniently by the Great Western and um, as you can see it's a bogey uh, flat wagon with um, stanchions to retain a load and um, I've made, uh, see here I've made five different versions and um, these are uh, each with a slightly different cast, colour cast to the texture just to give a bit of variety and of course different running numbers and the, that's those four and then the fifth one I've left it without stanchions so that you can, you've got that these, uh, these first four with the stanchions fitted and the fifth one is without the stanchions fitted but having said that the stanchions are available as a load and uh, just make sure we'll have a look here yes and there I think that's the one if I got it right yeah there we are stanchions so you can add stanchions to this one the fifth one if you want to let's click on that and there they are uh, but you don't have to you, I've wanted one so that you had that option these though the stanchions are fixed you can't you can't alter them and um, there's a ver variety of loads so let's have a look 45 foot uh, timber balks and the the balks this is how timber was shipped into um, into Britain and um, manhandled at the docks individual balks they are about almost a foot across um, or a bit, a bit over a foot across actually it's more like that's, that's about seven foot there so, so they're about 15 inches in cross section and they were uh, brought in from the Baltic primarily shipped in and with these with this particular load what I've tried to do is to they're individual um, timber pieces and I've moved them back and forth a little to give you a bit of visual variety so that's one of the loads if I if I click on this one and that was that there let's have a look at what this one is pipes so these are full length loads for these um, um, a core B uh, wagons, and but also there are loads which will be there. We are uh, two up to shorter loads, so we'll put one load of the 22 foot pipes in. There we are, and let's add another load here. What else have we got? I can't remember now. Oh, a 22 foot crate. Let's put one of those in as well. All of these loads will be on my website when I release these uh, McCaw B wagons and you can see there that's a large packing cake crate holding something or other uh, let's have a look a bit further see what else we've got uh, are there any others no so um, oh the 22 foot version of those big timber balks so you can really have go to town with the timber and the second one there is what 22 foot planks and again with the, as with the timber balks what I've done with the planks um, and it took a long time to do uh, is I've made each plank individual well I could have done just a, a, a rectangular block and just textured it and it would have looked okay but a little bit boring so I wanted to give the variety of position that you get when these are stacked invariably they were stacked by hand uh, so therefore not only have I brought in the variety of the textures on every single timber there um, but also I've moved them back and forth a little bit to give you that raggedy end so they're not all neatly lined up because I think that reflects more accurately the way in which these wagons were loaded so you can see there the, those are the macaws and, and um, you can alter the configs you can uh, add uh, loads that you find on the download station or you, you make your own loads and add them in and uh, one of my other videos um, explains how to add uh, different loads to your um, wagons to the config sys and um, config text file rather and um, so you can really give yourself a variety of loads to really handle some heavy traffic there but I rather like the McCaw B's I think they were really really nice looking vehicles so there we are the McCaw B's uh, to be released by about the end of October 2019.